What's up ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, if you look at your screen right now, you will notice there is something horribly wrong with Skyrim, and you may be seeing this in your gameplay as well. If, uh, if you're seeing this, odds are you've most likely updated your ATI drivers recently, and it's probably driving you absolutely bonkers. Well, the way to fix this is simply to disable your anti-aliasing in startup. Now I'm going to show you how to do that here in just a second. So once anti-aliasing is disabled, that will fix it. So let me show you how to do that. All right, ladies and gentlemen, if you're trying to fix this, what you want to do is you want to start up the Elder Scrolls like you would normally. And instead of clicking on play, you want to go to options. Now under options, if you go here to the eight by eight samples or four or two, whatever it is, and you turn this off, click OK and then start the game you will notice a drastic difference. So let me go ahead and show you the difference. And as you can see the pixelization in the exact same spot in game is completely gone and everything looks nice again. Now what thing you will notice is now that any alias thing is gone if you look really close you can see a lot of jagged edges like on the side of this item here uh, you know, you'll notice a little bit of blockiness on maybe like your fingers and other things. But, you know, in all honesty, Skyrim still looks pretty good. So, uh, until there is an update, a fix, etc. for the ATI graphics drivers, um, you're going to want to use this fix. As soon as they implement that, you can try it again, uh, and you should be good. Another option is you can always roll back the driver uh, on your ATI card to the previous version. And you can do that in the device manager. If you do that, then that too will fix your problem and uh, you'll just have to wait till the next run out. However, that may not be recommended simply because usually when they release the driver updates, it's to fix other things. So you may find that some of your other games that were running better under the new driver aren't running as good now. So it kind of just depends. Do you want any aliasing in Skyrim or not? That's up to you and I'll leave that one up to you. Anyways, hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, please click that like button. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my other videos, tips, tricks, and guides. And I'll catch you guys in the next clip.